Hey, it's Jim from Janku, and today I want to take a look at upgrading our version of Inkscape on our Ubuntu Linux computer. So currently, if I go up to my help and I go to About Inkscape, you can see I'm on version 0.92, and now there's a new stable version of Inkscape available, the 1.0 release, so let's go about upgrading that. Over here, I have a quick guide here at the ubuntuhandbook.org website, and this is using the package manager, so Ubuntu's AppGit package manager, and we're going to add a PPA repository to get the latest version of the software. So let's scroll down here on the instructions. You can see the first thing to do is to add this repository here. So I'm going to copy this line and I'm just going to go to my terminal. Let me just increase this and increase the size. And now I'll paste that in there. You can see it's sudo adapt repository PPA and it's the inkscape.dev forward slash stable. I'll press enter and then I'll just enter my password for my computer and then press enter. Once that's all set, go back to the instructions. If you scroll down here, you'll see that you basically have to update your package manager and then install Inkscape. So let's just copy the second line. Let's first sudo apt update. That will get us the newest releases of the software and recognize the PPA that we just added. Once that's set, then just paste this line. So sudo apt install Inkscape press enter and then say Y for yes. Now if we come back over here and we close out of this Inkscape here, just going to close out of that and then come up here and search for Inkscape again and click on it. You can see the application is opening over here in my dock. Now I can already tell a couple of my icons have updated a little bit here so if I come up to my help now and I go to about Inkscape you see that now we're on the 1.0 version. Now what's cool with this is you can do a couple of different things. For instance, you can go to Edit, Preferences, and you can actually change your themes now right from the Inkscape interface. I could click here to use a dark theme, and you can see that changes everything to be a dark window. I actually prefer the light, so I'm gonna uncheck that. I can use symbolic icons, so I can click this, and you can see the icons change over here. So my operating system already has some icons that are coming through here that look a little symbolic. So I'm gonna uncheck that. But you can change these as well right from this menu. So change icon theme. So these are the system icons that I was talking about. I could choose Tango, which looks like this, or Multicolor. I think Tango works for me for now. I'll leave that there. So that's all you need to do to get started with the new 1.0 version of Inkscape on an Ubuntu computer. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If you're interested in more design content like this, subscribe to our channel. We actually put out Inkscape or GIMP videos every Wednesday, so hit that bell notification if you want to be alerted about those. All right, until next time, we'll see you later.